Chris Orser Landscaping, 215-249-1236. We're back at a property, Bucks County, Pennsylvania. I'm going to ask Jim uh, what he's been doing here. Jim, you want to give us a walkthrough of this property? Yeah, this customer wanted a lot of changes. Things moved around. Things were overgrown. So why don't we start with what we did in the front here. Uh, in the front, there was uh, some big boxwood bushes basically hiding her entire uh, perennial bed in the back. So we suggested we remove them and we added, this is all new sod here from about uh, two and a half feet, put new sod and accented it with the river rock. So now you can see what we did over here, which is one of her many beds here. We put, um, we moved a lot of the perennials around and this flax over here, you can see this is a beautiful ground cover in March and April. She only had purple, so we put some mountain pink in there, and that will all grow in, so when it comes March or April, she's going to have real beautiful color here. Uh, trimmed up her shrubs, removed all her mulch. She had mulch here. We pulled it all out, and we put in um, the, the redstone, three-quarter inch redstone, and the big advantage to that is that you never have to replace that. It's always going to stay new and beautiful and unlike most that you have to replace it every year this stays for many many years to come so it's more of a, a lower maintenance that she wants to do and we did that in these beds all all around here you hear she's got some more daisies that we put in she had a big old rose bush covering the front of her house we cut that back now this planter is not going to stay there that's going to go on the patio but we still have to seal and lock this patio she doesn't want grass or things growing through the cracks. So we have a technique we, uh, from E.P. Henry called seal and lock. So we're going to be sealing and locking our patio and then we'll move that, go back over there. Once again, the flax here, we added some different color flax to give her a kind of a multicolor effect here. Hold all the mulch out, put the Red River Rock in there. And this bed's kind of interesting. She wanted some accents. So we put the river stone as an accent on the front the red, rest of the redstone, the three quarter inch redstone. And as you're driving up the street, it does give it a real nice accent. We just put that in there so the stone's going to be a little dirty. We'll hose it down for her and it'll be nice and shiny and new. And that's the front. All right, Tim, thanks a lot. You're welcome.